People, my people, I've abandoned Uncle Odin. The old man was getting a bit senile, a bit out of touch. So, he's gone. So, people, my people, today we're going to jump straight into the review. There's no fuss, there's no ado. It's the new me for you. And today we're doing uh, Black Rabbit, their very first one, their signature gin. It's the uh, only gin I know that's got a really black bottle. Yeah, see? And it's going to be appearing... There. I'm not dyslexic, I'm just looking at things backwards. So, without any further to do, let's just jump into this baby. If you will hear the sound of happiness. The smell of happiness says that um, this is the only Australian gin that I know is that is made out of plums. There is one in the Huon Valley, Tasmaniacs, which is just getting started, and they make theirs out of apples. But let's have a look at this baby. Okay, sorry. I have to adjust you to look a little bit further down at me. That looks perfect. You like the new sign? There's something special about my um my studio. I've got a new sign. Comment in the, in the uh, put the comments in, and we'll see how much you guys are paying attention. So this is it's clear. <clears throat> now you may remember I actually um interview the guy who makes this, sorry. All those of you who have actually got minutes went, oh, gee, did he just do that? Well, yes, he did. It's his bottle and alcohol, so sterilizing agent. So I actually interviewed, interviewed um, Sam Wheeland, who makes this delicious stuff from Black Rabbit. So this is their signature gin, as I've already said. Now, the smell of happiness says that this is plum-based. Okay. When I first encountered Sam, he sent me a whole lot of samples, small bottles, which I shall reach off to one side and grab. So yeah, 200 ml bottles. Very useful if you want me to look at your stuff, if you want my now considered and somewhat learned opinion. There's my degree behind me. Do you like it? I think it looks a bit better than the ones I got from the university. This was certainly a damn sight more delicious. So um, I went out for a walk yesterday and I saw this guy spill a spill. Um, scrubble set all over the um, footpath in front of me and I walked up to him and went uh, so dude, what's the word on the street? So, the smell of happiness like I say, this is plum based if you haven't tried Black Rabbit before the closest that I have ever come to is actually Slivovitz which is basically Balkan's um, fighting syrup Slivo is Serbian for f um, fruit and yes that and Salish, which means Wendy means you've just hit my limit of Serb. So the nose is very, very it's very plum based. Okay, so let's go for the taste of having it. Oh yes. <clears throat> yep. It's 45%. Um, it's a dry gin. And this baby burns. That's the reason why I say the closest I've ever tried to this. And if you aren't an Australian, a lot of you aren't, <clears throat> and you were to come to Australia, you would have tried this up in because it's up outside Shepparton. Um, yeah, basically, I always said to Sam, "It's look, this is super of it. Um, he's at the requisite amount of juniper, and at forty-five percent, this ticks off all the boxes. Um, I'm drinking this neat, as you can see. Um, thanks to Chris at uh, Gin Dispensary, because I'll let me manage a little bit. So I'm now drinking out of glasses, not bottles. May look at the, may look at the side of a bottle occasionally, but um, yeah. So this is Black Rabbit Signature Gin. I've got another three behind me. There's a blackberry and a oh, sorry passion fruit and a Geneva, which is actually a very different colour. So sorry, they're right behind me right at the moment. Say to me. Odin, you've got to go and review us. You promised Sam. That's what they're saying to me. So yeah, um, it takes all the boxes. I, it, um, I would, I'm going to look at the tasting notes he sent me. Um, no, I don't have porn star, I'm not Donald Trump. Um, look, I'll be providing a link to their website and basically I'll let Sam do it for you. But. Thank you very much for watching um, and you know that uh, to uh, Heim's 
the New York Times, New Roman and Havalika walked into a bar and the bartender looked at them and went, leave, we don't serve your type in here. So I'll catch you around with um, more than likely, yeah, I'll go for Backwoods Distilling Muscat Gin. So it's a small bottle. Thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button, uh, comments, suggestions for gins, um, and suggestions what I can do with my channel. Just don't make them rude. Okay, that's my job to be rude, not yours. So thanks, my people, my people.